Drug discovery and development involves a huge number of stakeholders and an event like today is a great opportunity to bring them together, whether it be large pharmaceutical companies, uh, small biotechs that we spun out of the university, the investors that support them and of course the academics who found them. There's a rich theme of innovation in the Oxford ecosystem, particularly in this area of therapeutics, biologics and the purpose of this event really is to showcase the research and the development work that's going on within the Oxford area and to provide opportunities for people to get together, different people who wouldn't normally meet up to actually get a, the potential to engage and explore whether there are opportunities for working together. I think a lot of academics don't mix with the business community and are sometimes slightly frightened of them. And so I think something like this, which has some social aspects where people can mix and talk and ask questions and social environment is just a really nice way of, of breaking the ice and getting people communicating. And the academics have great idea, they do great science, they have great understanding of disease mechanisms and what an industry brings is the need to translate that into new medicines and so that's a, a, a set of complementary skills and so by working with the academics we help the academics translate their great ideas into new medicines and from our perspective, we get access to great science, which enables us to find new medicines too. In the university, we can develop ideas and concepts, and we perform experiments. We need the NHS research team to start clinical trials. And finally, to get an approved treatment, we need the industry sponsors, the commercial entities that come in, understand the regulations, launch a phase three clinical trial, and then develop a new treatment. Drug companies uh, increasingly have identified the value of interacting with you know, the most uh, innovative people and I think University of Oxford is a great example is one of those places which has got lots of innovative people so for me I'm a neuroscientist so we're really interested in finding new medicines in Alzheimer's disease um, hard to treat depression and at University of Oxford academics you know for example the Department of Psychiatry are real-world experts in this area so we've got great value from collaborating with them. So I think historically speaking Oxford hasn't punched its weight in terms of translating the world-class medical research into new drugs. That's changing. I think an event like this is actually a chance to you know, reflect on the progress that we've made, hopefully spark new ideas, but you know it's a showcase. This is showing the world that Oxford is doing new things um, and some really exciting things in delivering new drugs to patients. I think if you want to do research it's going to benefit patients. It's a real team effort between the basic scientists and the business community and so being able to build those partnerships should see the new drugs that we're creating get to patients much more effectively than if we tried to do it on our own. Events like this are incredibly important for driving the development of technologies which could benefit patients in the long run.